uh, this is not the condition or the situation I wanted to be in when I first uh, spoke with Sherry, I think in late fall about wanting to again address Rotary because that at that time we were actually looking into um, another program that I'll discuss uh, further in the presentation. Uh, but obviously uh, times have changed and we have to be flexible and I think flexibility is going to lead to success for all of us. So again, thank you to Rotary and, and uh, everyone uh, at uh, Fenway Drive for this opportunity. And it's good to uh, address the club again today. Uh, it's, it's great partners like, uh, like each of you uh, out there that allows us to do what we do. And today we'll talk about what Visit Baton Rouge does and how we're working to bring visitors to Louisiana's capital city amid the ongoing challenges that we face during this global uh, pandemic. Um, before we get started, I wanted to share a video we recently released to encourage the local community and to create some nostalgia for our area. So let's take a look. Thank you. Um, Visit Baton Rouge, as we know now, was formed nearly 50 years ago and, uh, in 1972 by the uh, Louisiana legislature. And our organization has been known as other names such as Baton Rouge Area Convention and Visitor Bureau, uh, Baton Rouge Tourist Commission, and what have you. But today we're known as Visit Baton Rouge, and that tends to be a, a standard in our industry. Our industry organizations are called destination marketing organizations and the term visit Baton Rouge is more of a, a call to action. We're governed by a board of directors that represents the industry. The board of directors is made up of appointees by the Baton Rouge Lodging Association, the Restaurant Association, the Mayor's Office, Metro Council, Preserve Louisiana, Downtown Development District, and uh, BRAC, Baton Rouge Area uh, Chamber. And it is our admission to increase visitation uh, to and awareness of the Baton Rouge area, thereby enhancing economic impact. We are solely funded by a hotel occupancy tax in East Baton Rouge hotels. And you might recall that though maybe two years ago that I addressed Rotary and at that time we were pursuing an additional tax for our uh, marketing efforts and that of the River Center. And we have used that additional tax money to pursue various organizations and the other percent to the River Center. And um, of course, that was nearly two years ago. And here we are back at a time that we didn't expect things to be uh, the way that they are. Uh, I can tell you that as a destination marketing organization, um, Visit Baton Rouge is an accredited destination marketing organization. We were accredited by uh, Destinations International, the organization of Convention and Visitors Bureau. We're one of the first destination marketing organizations in the state to be accredited and the first to be re-accredited. And we were about ready to uh, engage in a, a program called Destination Next by Destinations International. That was workshops designed to assist destination organizations in bringing stakeholders together around a common vision and bringing the hospitality industry um, 
together basically to uh, determine what was needed in a community. It was a local uh, engagement of stakeholders like yourself in uh, a destination assessment. Unfortunately, we were planning on doing that in April, and my intent was to address Rotary prior to then to give everyone an update on what we were looking at doing. But I ch our, ch our plans have changed. So Destination Next will be coming up sometime in the future. But at this time, due to limited resources and time, we're not going to be able to do that in 2020 or perhaps even into 2021. But we know that it's part of our long-term long -term plan, and it's important that you as stakeholders have uh, a say in what uh, what we're doing and what this community does and what the uh, the assets and, and challenges are for uh, the Baton Rouge area. A lot of people are familiar with Visit Baton Rouge, but not necessarily about what we do and what our staff of 18 very talented people do nearly every day. Uh, First and foremost, we have an administration department, which consists of the Office of Visitor of, of a President CEO, myself, as well as the Vice President of Administration and our controller. In addition, we have a special events department and ev uh, events and projects, which collaborates with area partners to assist with planning events and closely works with the Baton Rouge Film Commission and Sports BR, both of which are housed in our offices here at 359 Third Street. Our marketing and technology uh, department handles marketing, advertising, social media events, communications, technology upgrades, and needs. We recognized years ago the integration between marketing and technology and have been fortunate enough to have a department that can handle both of those uh, tasks. And, uh, and we've had some success with that. Also, with uh, Destination Sales, which is part of our uh, department, the, uh, our office, so that department works in collaboration with Sports VR and pursuing sports events. And uh, individually, the, the Destination Sales Department works on meetings and conventions uh, and domestic and leisure tourism, trying to draw visitors to this, uh, to, to in fact visit Baton Rouge. Some of the markets that we pursue include religious conferences, minority conferences, corporate meetings, as, as well as meetings associated with Southern University. Other departments in our visitor, in, uh, in our um, uh, destination sales include professional organizations associated with LSU, fraternity conventions, scientific and educational associations, engineering groups, and we have a person on our staff that handles that. We also have a staff member that handles sports events, military events, reunions, and conventions associated with hobbies. We have a group tours a department that handles tours, both domestic and international and the pursuit of these uh, markets and the pursuit of those um, groups to, in fact, visit Baton Rouge. Our destination experience department works with the riverboats docking in Baton Rouge at one time was almost every day and also works with the visitors and groups associated to the, with the conventions that come to Baton Rouge to meet and exceed their needs and expectations for meetings and conventions. Travel counselors in Baton Rouge, Baton Rouge has three welcome centers and a mobile welcome information unit called Info On The Go. At each of these, we discuss with visitors exactly what there is to do in Baton Rouge and try to enhance their individual visits to our community. That's our normal day-to-day -day operations. But of course, things have changed. And since March and going into 2020, we were anticipating a pretty good year. 19, uh, 2019 was an outstanding year for visitation to Baton Rouge, uh, particularly with some major events that we hosted. Uh, up until the middle of March, things were going well. But since March, we had to pretty much change our uh, marketing efforts 
as we originally uh, anticipated. So what are we doing now with 2020 and what we intend to do through the remainder of this time that we're going through? As you could see, um, the uh, idea of uh, visitors uh, visiting from outside of the immediate area is, is difficult. We are uh, promoting staycations, both for local Baton Rouge residents, persons who reside near Baton Rouge, and for the state, because what we're, the, what we're calling a recovery time here in Baton Rouge, we at Visit Baton Rouge like to call it a rediscovery time, a time when the state, both outside of the Baton Rouge area and immediately in the Baton Rouge area, can rediscover what there is to do here in the capital city. And um, this is something that uh, many of our fellow destination marketing organizations are doing with their, within their own communities, recognizing that the air travel is going to be uh, hampered over the next several months, that the um, opportunities for groups coming together with limited space is going to be challenged. So at this time, we're promoting very much the staycation and uh, regional visitation to Baton Rouge. And it's very important that you as Baton Rouge area citizens recognize that because we think it's, it's an opportunity for you to rediscover the capital area and for you to encourage uh, nearby out of town visitors to um, your friends and family to rediscover the capital region. Um, it's so easy to recognize that there are other destinations that we could visit but at this time, we think it's important that we stay close to home and uh, we encourage you to promote the economy within the uh, original, uh, within the region as we, we uh, define it now. Um, we're working very closely with the State Office of Tourism uh, and, and other destination marketing organizations in and around Baton Rouge to promote this to locals as well as the drive-in market. And uh, the drive-in market, certainly with the, the price of gasoline, you could get here with a tank full of gasoline from almost anywhere. So we're encouraging persons within that three hour, to, a little bit further market to, to visit Baton Rouge, the state of Louisiana and in and around uh, that area. It's time to rediscover our capital city, and we're encouraging locals and visitors alike to get out and see our attractions, especially those that you haven't seen for a while. To go to restaurants, shop at local stores, and promote visitation to our own city with your own out-of-town friends and family. Um, we don't know when to expect the conferences to return, but we know it may be as long as three years before they come back to where we had uh, those numbers in 2019. Um, those com conferences that we had scheduled in 2020, we are working diligently to reschedule those, particularly those regional and state conferences, try to bring them in the remainder of 2020, but recognizing that in all likelihood, the best opportunity for them to return would be 2021. So a lot of these conferences that we've lost in 2020, we are rebooking for 2021 and 2022. Um, we're hoping that the uh, flights increase through Baton Rouge, BTR over the next several months, but we recognize that's gonna be a while and it will hurt our opportunities. Now, just to give you an idea of uh, of what we did in 2019, which we thought was a pretty good year for us. Uh, the group group conferences and events that we were, we, Visit Baton Rouge was directly responsible for either solicitation, bringing to Baton Rouge tour groups, conferences, events, resulting in over 153,000 persons 
and a $53 million impact. In other words, what we were directly responsible for. Now, when you throw the, 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 the concept in on what we brand, how we brand this community as a destination, but those numbers that you can't exactly count, the, uh, the state indicated to us that total visitation in 2018 was nearly a billion dollars of direct spending to the state of Louisiana and provided thirteen thousand dollar excuse me thirteen thousand hospitality related jobs in Baton Rouge. So let me restate that: what Visit Baton Rouge was direct, directly responsible for was fifty three million dollars of direct expenditures. When you throw in what we've done above and beyond our branding of the community, that results to about a billion dollars of direct expenditures into the Baton Rouge area and about 13,000 jobs. And I think now more than ever, we recognize the importance of the hospitality industry in those 13,000 jobs as so many of us were uh, put, put out of business, either temporarily or for long term or forever in regard to restaurants, attractions, and, and, uh, and hotels. And we certainly hope that that comes back to what we uh what we experienced in 2019 now uh tourism during during covid 2019 we're uh strengthened our partnership with the hospitality industry recognizing that there is a strength in partnership uh visit bat rouge is part of the uh task force that meets regularly with our industry partners to discuss issues affecting the hospitality industry and what we can best do to uh, bring this back to normalcy as quickly as we possibly can. Now, one of the most affected markets that we had in 2020 so far is the riverboats. Um, the riverboats in 2019, we hosted 97 boat dockings and almost 19,000 passengers here at the paperclip dock in Baton Rouge. And we expected considerably more in 2020. And the advantage of having these folks come into Baton Rouge is not only does it uh, provide opportunities for uh, our uh, Baton Rouge and Baton Rouge area attractions and museums to, uh, to capture that business, it also is a great, uh, great PR piece for us as these people go back to their own communities and, and talk about their great experience that they had in Baton Rouge. And we hope that to come to return. We hope the boats to return sometime later this summer, hopefully as early as August. But it is a huge market for Baton Rouge. Again, 19,000 persons in 2019, and we expected considerably more, more dockings, more of uh, passengers in 2020. And hopefully by 2021, we're going to knock uh, those numbers out of the park and have uh, some, some totally different record numbers. And we're excited about the return of the river boats when that happens later this summer, and particularly Viking cruise lines, which will begin offering trips uh, on the Mississippi River. Now, COVID-19. Uh, with the halting of the riverboats in the area, we lost an estimated $1.6 million in direct expenditures from those 10,000 um, visitors that have so far canceled in 2020. We're certain already that, uh, that when the riverboats return, that there will be a lot more activity downtown. Uh, I will say that we've had discussions with the riverboats and they're having, uh, they're taking a the proper precautions and following CDC guidelines by limiting the passengers they allow and the social distancing. And it's expect that even with reduced passenger counts that the boats will sell out. Therefore, it will be a slow return, but we're still hopeful it will generate positive impact for our city in the remainder of 2020. So right now, Right now, partnerships are more important than ever as we come together to look for solutions and creativity to move forward according to the regulations set 
uh, forth by our state government. We'll work diligently to reschedule meetings, conferences, conventions, and large-scale events over the next year in hopes for 2021. We're excited to see businesses reopening and look forward to how we can assist during the recovery. And we've been working uh, to update our website with resources for both locals and visitors regarding, 20, uh, regarding COVID-19 and what businesses are open or closed. I think now more than ever, we need to take on that attitude that this is a great place to live, work, play and visit. And as Baton Rouge citizens, we need to get the word out and take the pride that we have, uh, that we should have in this community and spread it to potential visitors. Um, we have found through our research that the number one reason visitors come to Baton Rouge, one, to visit Baton Rouge area friends and family, and two, to attend an event be it a football game, a festival, or what have you. So we're going to welcome any questions or comments that you may have, but let me suggest to you that uh, you check out our website at visitbatrouge.com, visitbatrouge.com. That's got all of the information we need. Uh, you can contact myself or Karen, our Director of Marketing and Technology, and uh, you've got that hashtag, Explore. Of Baton Rouge. So with that, um, Mr. President, I will be happy to entertain any questions or comments that uh, our fellow Roto Rotarians have. Okay, Paul, uh, we yeah. have a question from uh, Jeff Zimmerman, what is the best way to get the word out? Boy, social media is without doubt the uh, the best way to get the word out to your friends and family exponentially. That just continues, especially from an or, uh, organic point of view. Uh, we did, we have done some wonderful things with social media here, and I have to compliment our um, marketing staff for not only taking on that but doing a good job of convincing a 68 year old CEO that's been in this position of been in this business for 40 some odd years, uh, how valuable that is. And I think that's the one thing. The other thing is let's pick up the phone, you know, Baton Rouge right now, after that very successful football season, has that brand Baton Rouge has been out there. Everybody I talked to from out of town, Oh man, Baton Rouge, home of the fight tires, number one team. So while we've got that positive, um, uh, image. Let's get the word out that, yeah, uh, to our friends and family, hey, we want you to come visit Baton Rouge. We're doing everything we can to ensure your safety and security in our museums, our attractions, etc. We're a very affordable city, so let's pick up the phone and invite those friends and family, send them a postcard, but the easiest and most convenient way is just to go ahead and, and, and engage in, in social media. Okay. Pam Wall asks, did the two large financial packages passed by Congress to reduce the impact of the pandemic go to the area of businesses here to offset the numbers you quoted? I'm not exactly sure of that. First of all, let me tell you what I do know about all of um, the programs. As a political subdivision, absolutely none of the programs uh, affected or benefited Visit Baton Rouge, nor most of the destination marketing organizations in the state. So I can tell you our, our budget is entirely based on hotel taxes. And as you know, the hotel business right now is probably the most affected business uh, due to this. So our budget has been uh, negatively impacted and there's no programs to help us. I know that some of the hotels have engaged in that and some of the restaurants. I believe that there are some grants associated um, with the, uh, the the pandemic that are of available to the uh, attractions and and we're making them all aware of what we learn but it seems like every day a new program comes out and and uh, god willing it is positively affecting what's out there but i'm i'm really proud of what we have done as a community to uh, to open up 
as safely as, as possible and, and to, to make our visitors as safe and secure as they can. And, and that a recent survey shows that that is the number one concern of visitation of the visitors is their safety and security in a community. Phil Brantley wants to know, do you have regular electronic newsletter with weekly events and activities? We sure do. We sure do. And that can be found. Uh, you could email me, Paul, at visitbatrouge.com. Uh, we've got a blog that goes out and we've got uh, a weekly event uh, schedule of not only the conferences that are in town, the events associated with the festivals, et cetera, and the riverboats that are in town. That is available. Um, you can contact, send an email to me at visitbantrouge.com or go to our website. And uh, we'd love to have you spread that word out to us. And when we first started this several years ago, it was almost like we couldn't find uh, enough information to put on the site. Now, there's not enough space on the site for all the uh, the activities that are that were going on pre uh, pre COVID. Chris Dio, you wants to know, uh, Paul, have you ever considered developing ecotourism? I'm sure uh, we at LSU can help. Yeah, we sure have. We're doing the best we can, particularly now with uh, with Breck, and um, that is the the, the number one uh, travel market right now. Uh, we know that those areas are, are uh, extremely rural and those areas in North Louisiana that are involved with out, more outdoor activity than what we, we have are doing uh, very well. We recognize uh, ecotourism as being, being important. Uh, we know that, um, that Breck's got their facilities and certainly the, the, those associated with LSU. And we, we know that that's probably one of the markets right now that... Um, that's going to come back quickly because of the outdoor activities uh, associated with that. Um, and I know Karen with our marketing department is, is on top of that right now. Okay. Shard Richard asks, Paul, uh, are you in regular communication with our state public health officials and local health professional professionals about potential timelines for an approved vaccine and projections for a more normal return to previous status quo? Right now, we are in touch with them on uh, specifically what uh, the allowances are and and um, and what we we as meeting facilities can can uh, do and 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 as far as the engagement between visitors and the community specifically regarding a vaccine, no. But boy, I sure hope it comes it comes back very soon. Um, we are working through another task force with uh, with the governor in regard uh, to. Uh, his uh, opening, and that is represented by a reopening. That is re represented by several of our uh, industry partners, one of which is Louisiana Travel Association, which is headquartered here in um, in Baton Rouge and uh, certainly represents the entire industry. Mm -hmm.